know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. Yeah. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. Yo, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Now, I know I've said that 400 times before, but this time, I fucking mean it. We wow. got motherfucking Fine. Petey Diablo in the building. I can't even act like he's a guest. He's more like family, like extended family. First, Harry, how you doing? You good? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm still trying to get my catchphrase over. I'm going to lay the boots to all you bitches. That's the catchphrase. And Dre, what's up, baby? What the fuck Harry just what's, said? I'm going to lay the boots to you what? bitches. Oh, you know, that's so the Lay the boots. So I'm, I'm going to get the boots to you bitches. I'm going to lay the boots to you bitches. Yeah. All right. That's what we... What does that Am mean? Am I right with that, Dre? I don't know. He's just looking for a catchphrase. I just like want to get something Ducky. on a t-shirt. Yeah, man. Hey, why can't I have something? Burger. Get her Harry, done. you should say that. You eat those a lot. Yo, man. That's, that's, I don't, that's my personal life. That's, I keep business and personal separate. <laughs> <laughs> so, Harry, you good. You good, Dre. Listen, I'm going to get you to, I'm going to get you to smoke weed one day. One day I'm going to get you to high <laughs> Oh, snap. Shorty came. Yo, Petey, what's up? Yeah. What's good, yo, you want to see my yeah. son? He's wilding out. Let me see son Dula. It's how big he is. You can't Damn. even see the camera. Yo, no. yo, that's ridiculous. That's the biggest newborn I ever seen. Yo, how he yeah. came out with a sweater on. And he eight weeks with a sweater. A sweater. And he like, how much he weigh? That's a big boy. Yo, shout out to keeping it light skin, man. Keeping a light skin generation. Wifey, go in there, stick your head in there. You Say hi, Petey. Oh hell yeah! And she got F. She ethnic too. She got. She, <laughs> yeah, my nigga. I like that. You ain't go white, my nigga. I fucks with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta. That's what we gotta do, man. We gotta keep this shit strong. Keep the shit going on, man. That's it. Feel me? Dre, he's bigger than you now. We can fight. It's a fair match. Damn, yo, baby Dante, yo, that was like Dante. Like, put a wig on Dante, some curls. That's him right there. Put some Nigga, curls I on Dante cur- right there. I now. had curls. I had yo, Harry, bring my forty shit up. years ago. <laughs> now nah, I know you had curls. You got the confidence of a nigga that had curls. <laughs> It's like you know when they say like a like a like a, when, a, when a big shorty loses weight and they be like yo she's still insecure. It's like the opposite. Yeah. Like it's like yo this nigga had curls but he's still got you can the tell. confidence. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> yo you a nigga got the confidence of a nigga with curl had curls. I said nigga I had the acid wash and I'll be sure curls nigga I. Mm. I was like the album mm. cover like this. Yo, I and, I, and I bet with your silhouette hey. looked like a fucking T. Like you was like, yeah. <laughs> nigga, right. straight V. You know niggas you, didn't work when they You want to start this <laughs> over, Dante? <laughs> <laughs> no, why? Start up? Oh, okay. No, no worries. I didn't we know. Rock. You, you just great. stopped. No, nah, I didn't stop. Oh, what? Okay. You couldn't hear me? No, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. I just showed my son. I can't show my son. son. I didn't say that. I that is unprofessional that. to show your children on the show. Uh, that and that's keeping it real. funky because if you was on some Jay Z <laughs> shit, you would have hid your son for like ten years, and then you would. Like, Yo, <laughs> nah, that's great. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my son's funky. 26. <laughs> Why? Oh uh, shit! My phone is ringing in here. Yeah, this is. 
Hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit is active. Okay. I love it. This feel like one of them, uh, one of them popping IG shows like CC, the CC yeah, show. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Yo, that's the problem. Petey, that's what's what going I don't on, B? Petey, Petey. Petey Yo, was popping. I'm here, man. I'm feeling good, man. You know what I'm saying? It feel like with the vaccine now, it feel like this summer gonna be more. I was just telling them earlier. It's I'm gonna be lit. Forward, I'm looking forward to tongue kissing strangers again, man. Mm-hmm. Like that's what. Word. You know what like I'm saying? In a bar? Yeah, wherever. Come on, on the train, in the bar, on sure. the vaccine. Once I get that serum in my arm, it's Woo. all ever, ever. Ever since Andre hasn't been shot at in like fucking twelve years, he he losing his edge. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna wait till he go in the backyard and hide and just shoot at him like over his head so he get his I'm, edge I'm back. I'm interested <laughs> in the needles. Oh, you're not getting the needles. I'm a, I'm gonna wait, yo. I'm gonna wait and see how everybody doing, and that'll let me know. <laughs> no, I mean you don't you don't even have to wait. Like you, I think technically you have to wait anyway. You know what I mean? On some summertime. Yeah, but Andre's talking shirts. about seven years from now. He's like, he really oh, wants right. to wait it out. He goes, I want to see what the law is. He didn't get his anything? chicken pox shot yet. Yo, Andre, <laughs> if anything, <laughs> just, just to keep it kosher, just lie to people. Like, yeah, I got my shot. Like, you know, niggas that lie that they got tested. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I got my TV shot. Type. I just be taking mad ginger the whole time instead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dr. Sebi. <laughs> You know, the old shit is niggas didn't get the STD shot. They just wait to see if the bitch live. They even like, yo, I'm good, son. All my bitches live. That's how niggas do with the Rona. That's how niggas do with the Rona right now. Or like they've been doing like, yo, I've been around this nigga all day. He ain't cough. I'm good. Facts. (laughs) (laughs) Niggas be like, you got tested? Every time I chill with this nigga. (laughs) (laughs) He cough. I'm like, I guess I got it. I feel like it's gonna be lit. It's, mm. I feel I feel the light at the end of the tunnel. Yo, that's what today felt like. B. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, I got it was some like bam. It's like oh, it felt like y'all y'all bitching. Y'all bitching about COVID. Come on, yo, that was way back then. If that's what it felt like today. Uh, damn. Just, I just know at least we got the vaccine. I don't know how good it. I don't even know. I'm just here like. <laughs> I'm trying to get it like the new iPhone, my nigga. I'm waiting wait on line. My mother said, yo, I don't want to wait on line. I was like, I'd rather wait on line for the vaccine than the ventilator, my nigga. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> That's fair. Fair enough. All, fair enough. all just to tongue kiss strangers. That's what PD's yeah. all about. Tongue hey, it's strangers. a valiant effort, man. Yo, I don't Walk get the new go. iPhone until like six months in anyway, yeah, when there's so. no lines. Mm-hmm. When I go in, I'm like, yo, you got that, that, in, that max in gold? They be like, yeah, yeah, we got. I'm like, all right, now I'm ready. After the updates. That's after the updates happened, all the bugs yeah. been worked out and all shit. All the bugs. Niggas the got they, they, motherfuckers got blown up. Their ear is blown up because the battery was fucked. After all of that, then I get the iPhone. I don't, I don't get online. I don't get online for shit. Fuck that. Yo, no. Petey. Petey, what's going on? He's been, how you been holding up with this? Yo, I've been, I've been, you know, the real nigga be in his little slumps and shit, but then the voice, you know, that's why I be telling people, like, you gotta have a hype man in your fucking head. You feel mm. me? That whenever you think some shit, that nigga be like, hey, yo, stop being a little Take bitch, that. yo. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get out there, son. What you made of, nigga? Show the nigga <laughs> what you made of, nigga. How the fuck you got here, nigga? <laughs> so your hype man look, is like, he look, what he look like? He looked like training day? <laughs> No, my, my hype man is like a black Mickey from Rocky. It's like a, oh, you know, nice. a black, black nigga that's seen it all. He like, yo, listen, kid, you fuck it. <laughs> you know say This guy's an this animal. Na- <laughs> His name is Gerald. <laughs> old black nigga named Gerald. That's funny. <laughs> Fucking Rudolph. Black nigga named Rudolph. Nigga, nigga He's sitting a on a milk crate. crate. Yeah, he's, he's sitting on a milk crate in the bodega that nobody go into. That he, the got black one of them pi- he got one of them pipes like Sherlock Holmes got. But that nigga put Newport tobacco in the pipe. <laughs> so he buys. So he buys Newports, crushes yeah. them, <laughs> crushes them up, puts them in the pipe. Crushes Newports into Newport his pipe. Tobacco into the you pipe. You can't and buy a wood. bag of Newport, yo. <laughs> Harry, you can't buy a bag of Newport. That's what I understand. I know that, but you gotta I'm just crush gonna, it up. I just want to confirm Keep that's it. what Petey's hype man is doing. Nah, Petey <laughs> hype man got some got some cigarellos in his shit. Mm-hmm. Niggas definitely got the niggas. cigarellos. <laughs> And he got a, a Kango, a leather Kango that's broke down heavy. It's broke down smooth. 
But but like on the real life, cause like you know this shit is like this shit uprooted niggas' lives, man. I ain't even for gonna real, yo. shit here like yo, ha ha he he he. But you know it's like niggas just gotta deal with it like everything else. That's why I was telling my mom the other day. I'm like yo, I'm glad we was always fucked up, my nigga, cause this shit you you helped me be able to deal with everything else. You know? <laughs> by the time everybody else is coping, I'm like nigga, welcome to the party. I've been here, <laughs> been <laughs> fucked up, man. Welcome to the party. You know, it's going to get fun eventually. <laughs> nigga, that's like that capital shit. We was like, nigga, we knew white people was like that. Yeah, that's we, not we new. Been for years. Yo, the funniest, <laughs> shit too, tell- the funniest shit niggas was like, yo, how come they didn't do anything? I'm like, it's these niggas cousins. What the fuck? They <laughs> like, <laughs> niggas is related. What are they going to do? Uncles, niggas brothers. like, Jeff. Jeff, what you doing? Yo, mama. That's like, if niggas ran the, that's like if niggas ran the whole White House and the Capitol and all that shit, and then niggas rushed it, and they'd be like, how come they didn't kill anybody? You're like, well, <laughs> nigga look like me, so I ain't shooting my mans. I don't even like this job. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um... What you said, Harry? What happened? No, I don't even follow. That's how bad I don't follow oh, fucking well, we were Kanye. Talking about before, after yeah, that the dumb Kanye, shit. Yeah. Kim and Kanye got divorced. They split. It's over. Oh, since it's talk, I didn't even know they was in trouble. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> I, I didn't but, even know they were. You didn't know there was a. Problem? I didn't even know they was in trouble. Why didn't they call you me? Know, they Why didn't, didn't put you the signal call out? me junk? Huh? You know they didn't if, put the bad signal out. Someone should no, they gotta me. put they will put my my you know my silhouette that's on the truck just shining that's what on you the need. You need like a, some type of some crying nigga in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I can see pain afoot. <laughs> Listen, Dre, I'm not gonna have you disrespect my listeners. <laughs> <laughs> That's our no, fan base. Son, everybody our be fan crying base and crying shit. Men. Somet- sometimes we are all the crying nigga in the sky. That happens. And you know put what I'm this saying? Up on the sky, with a tear oh, coming down, <laughs> like a single tear. <laughs> put put a single tear on that shit. Oh, that's crazy. That's, that's creepy. Though. That is oh, funny. That. He One did an illusional mind trick shit. Hold on, hold on. Ah, I gotta go. Ah, there it is. He got interactive art. Is where it worked because like, a great visual. Balls. People can go uh, to the youtubecom slash manschool two hundred two. <laughs> To see Dante, I guess, put a silhouette of his face in front of his face. On my face. I'm like, yo, this is the phantom of the fucking Pete Phantom show. of the nigga. <clears throat> Damn, yo. I can't. Huh. There, uh, <coughs> right, here it is. There it is. Almost. Nah, but it's like smaller than your face, though. <laughs> no. Because now you had it. God. And then you flipped it. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, but. You got what both if sides? It, what if, Nigga, I don't want my, I don't want, I don't want my, that shit to fit my, like, nigga, I'm 320, and then I got a little ass head, like, I got I the Zika about virus. That. I ain't think about that. You right? No, that's have funny. A, shit. Have a fucking mess like this big. <laughs> I got the Zika. Yo, you know that the... shit from Beetlejuice? Oh, shit. Little, little head yeah, nigga. Yeah, with, the head. <laughs> with the zoot suit on. I didn't Yo. know Kim and, and Kanye was in trouble. Yeah, of I mean, course it, they listen, in fucking trouble, if, man. If a mentally uh, ill musician and an ass model can't make it, what is the hope for the rest of us, man? Yo, it's you over. Know, it's it over. makes it hurts me, and not just because I'm on media. If it wasn't sunny, and it's I wonder gonna be would lit. this have happened if Kanye stayed with that girl that was throwing up the diamond sign, rock sign from way back from from what's that graduation or late registration? So is, that the same show, is, he, is that the same shorty that he spent the thing at, with K, at KFC with? Yes. When he was like, yo, damn, these the niggas fir- that when much he was better like, than he me. He gave her the rock chain and shit. That's the shorty where he was wondering if that this many niggas was better than him. Remember? He was like, yo, we all <laughs> like. <laughs> Yo, y'all got, what would could, y'all happened, feel, yo, could y'all feel in Harry? Y'all are being rad disrespectful. This show is real I don't black. Go that, I don't this go is BT stars right now. Oh, my yeah. bad. Yo, nah, Harry, Kanye, I got you right nigga, now, son. Out of here. Kanye, I mean, he black, but like, come on, son. He Ringo Starr. Um, Ringo. Ringo's Leonard marriage Skinner. is all right. Yeah, I know those people. Uh, Their marriage I'm trying to say white things. Grateful Dead. I'm sorry. Grateful Dead. ZZ Top. ZZ. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> I would like to let everybody. <laughs> I would like to let everybody know that I'm not white. 
Uh, I know I sound like this. I know I look like this, but just for you. And I know I live like this. I am not white. Just kind of <laughs> yeah, live but let's just say Harry. Nah, he look like yo, a black dude. Harry. Yo, Harry, Harry, Harry sounds like, sound like Dave on. Chappelle joke. Oh, but that's just well, because that's I look true. this way. But tell the truth, though. If this yeah. all four of us was in the car, nigga. I do all the got, talking. Sure. Yeah. yeah. We'd be like, yo, I Harry. Mean, you'd be like, yo, like, Harry. That's yo, because I'm trying to take care of you. Litigate, nigga. Litigate. Litigate, nigga. Litigate. We gonna but do that, and then, then Harry's the gonna one. go. These two light ones are good, but Andre, the one that keeps calling me fat, he's. <laughs> I think he gotta have a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, my bad, Harry. You're looking slim, my brother. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, Harry, looking mad. Oh, no compliment, compliment my way out of jail. You looking like an eighty twenty. Like when you get the ground beef and it's lean, you know what I'm saying? That's 80 20. You're looking like, 80, 20, you looking like <laughs> lean ground beef. <laughs> ground turkey, nigga. You're not even ground beef. <laughs> That's funny you as healthy. shit. You healthy. I am healthy, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, Petey. How you, how you doing dating wise? You got a lady during the pandemic or what? What's going on? Ah, uh, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would, man. You know, this shit, I, I feel like this shit is like musical chairs. You know what I'm saying? Like the shutdowns and all that shit. It's like you be with a shorty. And then once that music stop, nigga, you like, come here. You know what I'm saying? You grab that chair, you hold it down, my nigga. So whoever once that music start, you be like, get off me, bitch. So whoever you're texting when the pandemic ends, that's who you're with. Is that what yeah, you're saying? No, when it's when you know the pandemic's pandemic, but like you know, sometimes like this summer we was outside. Shut I down. Ain't hold you. This summer yeah. though, your boy was out here dibbling and dabbling. You know what I'm saying? I was out <laughs> here, just out here. I was like, and one with the bass. You feel me? This is this is Cuomo's worst <laughs> nightmare, by the way. This is <laughs> slapped it around. You know what I'm saying? I was and one with the biddies, right? I'm saying. Yeah. And then. This is and Fauci then, and Cuomo's worst nightmare. Just hearing PD talking about I was out there. I was, nah, I was out shaking there. hands I and kissing I had a, ladies. I miss the. I miss even now. I miss. I miss having a, like a rotation. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this shit fucked up the league. This shit was. <laughs> this shit fucked That's up the league. Hilarious. You feel me, Dante? This shit was like a player lockout, nigga. It was like damn, it was I, can't like, even, yo. I can't even put my fantasy draft PD, team together. PD was trying hard too. He was like, "What if we all got in a bubble, just like the NBA?" <laughs> Just hear me out. <laughs> Everybody in one apartment. <laughs> yeah. A safe space, like 50 shorties Separate and a couple of the geysers. Rooms. You know what I'm saying? That couple feel like rooms. 92 for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was the year I was born. You was Yo. wilding. Yeah, I was wilding. I was in the, I was in the, in the safe space with 12 shorties. Hey. Get, get in that paper. But in 92, 12 was like 112. Yeah, that was like the group one twelve. <laughs> I had them in there too. Come on, you had the, the AJ. Stone. You had the AJs on. You had that. You had, had the, the acid jeans night. on. I had the acid jeans with the fanny pack and the curl. I had the curl on the top with yeah. slim on the side. Yeah, like I'll be sure. Nigga was looking acid light skin and Puerto I, Rican. You was looking light skin <laughs> and Puerto Rican. I had the I, the acid wash with the leather on the pockets. The we think it leather. sounds it Oof. sounds sexy, but most of the time Dante was just doing the electric slide with all twelve of them. Like I could see Dante spinning, like top heavy, but like spinning on the on the. On the I wasn't he, top heavy. You you Y'all wasn't like the, you ain't never was like. I was Dante diesel, was nigga, lean, but yeah. I was the six pack. But when I say top heavy, I just mean like you was, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, was always yeah, like I had a to stout be. up top type nigga. Like it was a lot of a lot of pull-ups going on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Heavy on the chest, light on the legs type of shit going on. You know what <laughs> nah, I mean? but I got... <laughs> niggas is ignorant, you know, Dre. <laughs> my mom's is mad, mad... My man, my mom's is mad light skin, so I got big ass legs. I got yeah. big calves. Like but I'm I know Japanese. you a Brooklyn nigga, so I know you just focus on the fucking the dead arm with the up top. The you like pull ups. <laughs> I can fight twenty <laughs> niggas if I do enough pull ups. Yo, I, didn't you tell me you got a fight in like Savoy in the Bronx, nigga, with like 20, 20 niggas and you had on a thong? <laughs> nigga had on a thong. Had a thong he said he was on mad slippery. Now, oh, explain why. Hold on, you have to explain why you had the thong on, Dante. Because when you say that, because I'm a man, I was a male stripper. Right. I did a. My man's from the Bronx. He was like, yo, yo, I, my aunt want to book you for this joint. It's my, co- it's my cousin's birthday. My aunt, what a my family. Cousin's birthday. 
That's some bro So shit. I'm up, was it? Was it 163rd, right? 163rd? Yeah. And like 163rd and, and Jerome under yeah. the L. Under the tree. It's dark. It's dark all the time, Harry. Under the L, even during the sunny the days. Sun the, four, the four train. That's the four train. Four. You're thinking about um Brooklyn. But yeah, Look, so you was uptown. Bro, I'm uptown. For somebody I'm going cousin. to do the thing. Because they was I they told me bring a girl. And me, like a girl for the guys and me for the girls, right? So I bring this this chick up there, right? Um, and I said, you know, we were trying to get the guys out so I could do my thing. So I, they wouldn't leave. So I said, yo, you know what we'll do? We'll put the girl on first, let them wild out. Then the niggas can't really beef when I do my thing, right? So the the uh the girl goes <laughs> up, she does it. Hold just, on, that's so funny. Just picturing you as a stripper being like, nah, nah, just so these niggas don't go crazy, send Shorty out first, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I made that face too, that smush face. Mm. That's when a nigga thought he figured out some out. genius shit because you was like, oh, I got the whole blueprint right now. <laughs> and he was wearing a thong at the time with his arms with his arms folded, stroking his chin. Nah, I feel like Dante so had, had a, a rope. So I had the joint. So she went out, did a thing. I go out the birthday girl. I take the birthday. Now, when I come in, you when you always got, especially when you dolo, you got to scan the room and see where the group saw who fuck with who. So it was the, the one dude there, little crew. They were looking real skeechy deechy, right? They was in the, together, but then they spread out. One was sitting down. One was at the bar room. <laughs> So I lay the girl, the birthday girl, and I'm doing stunts and flipping her over, right? Yeah. And the dude comes down and puts his hand on my shoulder. I'm I'm in a G-string barefoot. <laughs> and he put, yo, no yo, traction. yo. Grab, Niggas don't understand. Grab, Listeners, he's oily with no shoot, no traction at all. Nah, but barefoot <laughs> no is better than... Barefoot is better than shoot. You could get. Damn, I can dig a, in the toe. Nigga, you just said some Shaka Zulu shit. Nigga, remember when Shaka Zulu <laughs> in the shit? He was like, "No, nigga, that, slow me down." Yo, like, oh, that's Shaka the, Zulu. That's, the, that's where my costume came from. Harry, can you bring that up? Yo, that oh, movie made me so Bring up my gram. No, you bring up my gram. The picture. Uh, nah, on, you I gotta try to find that. It's on my gram, my, my the Shaka Zulu, my Shaka Zulu uh costume. Man. It's on the gram. Let me try to find so, it. Man, so man, I remember fuck. seeing that movie and that shit pissed me off. Why? I it was just like racist. I was just so young and I couldn't like handle seeing racist yet. So I was just like, ah, fucking white people. I was just oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking I'll tell, livid, you what, I'll tell you what. Here, now this is how we different. I'm sitting watching Shaka Zulu. With my my three sisters now, all if you know about my sisters, all my sisters very different. My older sister, she always like romantic niggas, but they always was broke, right? But they was romantic because when a nigga don't got no money, he want to walk in the park and write a poem. You know what I mean? That's how you work. So my middle my my middle sister always had rich niggas with cars and jewelry, but they was ugly and they was always knocking her in the head, right? <laughs> Bonk. That's not the with the uh, the black do the black and white one. <laughs> do the black and white one. Oh, I'm trying to find it, it. Hold Where's up. Where's the other one? There's a black and Hold white up. one, Petey. Hold on, so that one got it right there. Petey, how'd you that find one that got so it. quickly? It saw his grave. Yo, I know, Petey. It saw the kite faster yeah, than you, yo, Harry. I ain't going to hold you. You over there on a computer doing everything yo, else, probably yo, looking at so black and white. And white people shit. The, but hold on, your go position, though? <laughs> this nigga, huh? look at, he was ready to go in this picture. <laughs> ready to get it. He, look at the like, Petey, he got the leverage Petey, go right to here. The, to just, <laughs> Petey, go, go to, right, the, to, the, to the thing, the black and white. Pull the black and white one up. Oh, no, Prince Man didn't go? That's, That's not it. you, son. Yes, it is. Nigga, it's it's it. Yo, it's so real. It ain't even black and blue. That shit like Cephia. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I'm, I'm, my camera might not be as good, but hold on, I'm gonna get the zoom going. The yo. brightness got is it, too high. My man got the turn the brightness phone. down on your screen on the camera. Okay, I got you on the phone. Yeah. 
Prince Dingo in the building. Yeah, uh. <laughs> you see Prince Dingo. You see that see movie? Right abs, Dre. That nigga, you look see like them you abs, do, they under you look, here. I ain't gonna hold they you. You look there. like you look like you do Caparella or whatever that shit Cap-a-wera. is. That you just, I, did, I did do some Caparella. I did a I couple it. years of Caparella. Yo, Dre, he don't look like he could fucking roundhouse kick you off his forearm. <laughs> like he just uses forearm as his core and then ratata like blah. <laughs> like you think he's trying to flex on some Zulu shit that he flipped. <laughs> bah, bah. There, there you go. There, you there go. we That's, go. Yeah, you see those That's glasses Prince right Mandingo there? in color. Of course, niggas was mad That's when you was on the black. Girl, show nigga. the black and white one, Harry. The black Look and white there. one. That was that was the Shaka Zulu costume, right, Dre? Yeah, yeah, you can see that. That's where I got the. That's where I got the idea Again, from. Come over to YouTube if you want to actually see the visual here. YouTube, Man School Two Hundred Two on YouTube. You can see Don Tr- Dante, black and white with the full the headdress. He has a headdress on Racist. the zebra skin, costume, young chisel and then chest. Nothing else. That's it. You it's look like you it. could like, fuck niggas up and break dance in that position. <laughs> I could definitely do that. So anyway, was, wait, okay. so what, what happens here, Dante? Hold on. So, so you're you're guy, in the middle of this bachelorette party, bachelor and bachelorette party. It's not party. about it. It's a oh, party, it's but it's for the girl. Birthday, I'm stripping, I'm grabbing, I'm under a dress, I'm climbing all over, whatever. And the dude comes and, yo, 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 grabs me by the shoulder, right? As soon as he grabs me, boom, I hit him, bang, right? Zulu time. Cause but if he was just going to ask you to move your car. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going probably, too fast, man. He probably wouldn't have done that during the show. Yeah. It was an urgent matter. They needed to get to the, black, the fire hydrant. All this song, Old Black Betty, was playing in the background. And this nigga man, just gonna lamb. walk out. <laughs> <laughs> man, you put, you just, you're not gonna just come out and put your hand on my shoulder and try to get work. Uh, Plus shit. he said, yo, that this is what he said. Oh, he, no. he says he goes, yo, that's my girl. Uh, boop, I hit him. Then he had he had three mans with him. So one of his man was sitting on the side. I went right to him and hit him. Boop. boop. And How then his man at the because uh, you, you when you, you walk in, you st- they were together. Right, will you explain him that when you walk <laughs> in the party, yep. you gotta you got to yeah, scan the room. I didn't do that. I got jumped. So it's important <laughs> you to, a- to survey the area. <laughs> yeah. uh, Andre was hanging around a lot of white, white comics. He just went into and the party. I went, I went. I was like, I'm going to go to this little hood party real quick. <laughs> Support a friend. Uh, fucking no. Last time. Haven't been back. Now, I want to hear this story, though, because I'm like, it, it was in the comedy years. Who was it? This was a couple oh, years ago. Yeah, oh, when I got jumped, that's Dante's, a stupid wait, ass part. Oh, no, no, let's finish. finish hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll do Dre. Sorry, let's I want to get the story at a time. I clean the dude's clock that's sitting in the chair. I go run to the bar to his other man. I clean the other dude's clock, right? This so they looking at her running around the club and hitting just, people. Just, yeah. <laughs> nah, but he got the so garb they, on. He got the garb on. You know what I think about in these stories? Is the motherfucker who was just sitting, you know, left side. Just mind, just, just, just watch in it. the world. Taking it and he's all just in. like, why is there a naked nigga running around the club hitting people? So- <laughs> what went it's down? Also- Dante's running around beating, beating people up like uh, it's Kill Bill. And he's fucking Uma Thurman just beating that up shit seven, funny eight, eight, nine, kicking people you down just the stairs. Eating your chicken the wings. Stairs. You look like the one nigga they never showed on the Flintstones. You got the alpha. <laughs> that's that's the like, funniest oh, shit I ever heard. <laughs> this nigga was drop kicking niggas in the, the one nigga they never showed on Flintstones. <laughs> that's because the Flintstones is racist. I mean, look, hello. So that's why they didn't show me the um. So I cleaned two other dudes clock. Right. And then they they like coming at me as they coming at me. The bounces is there. And I'm as they between the I'm clocking these niggas over the bouncer's shoulder. So they walk in and yo, yo, yo. I'm like, pop, pop. I'm not because I got to, you know, I'm dead. I'm on 163rd and Jerome. I got to get back to BK. Everybody know when you at Jerome, you got to start swinging. Yo, but I ain't going to lie, son. Now that you said that you're trying to get back to BK, yo, you was like the stripper version of the Warriors, my nigga. Yep. <laughs> they was into the Bronx trying to go to the little, to... little meetup. These niggas was like, because there wasn't no, there wasn't no Instagram back then. Niggas was they like, had the same amount yeah. of clothes on. Yeah. When you watch the movie, them niggas was half naked running through the streets, too. 
But Warriors the Zulus, the instead of the Warriors, Dante would have been with the Zulus. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Dante, I would have so been wait, with wait, the ball happened? heads. What so that so I'm cleaning the clock. They I start popping them over the bouncer's head. So they start backing up. They pick up chairs, right? And they then, always do that, son. And <laughs> then chairs, they start losing the fight. Son, chairs start. So you know the metal joints, the metal one with the cushion and the mm-hmm. pointy back. The chairs is coming shit. at me. Harry, here's me go. Chairs is coming to me like ECW. Remember back oh, at yeah, ECW yeah, yeah, yeah. when they used to just rain the chairs in? It's oh. coming in. So I pick up a chair and I'm bouncing the blocking the chairs with a chair and I back up against the coat check and then I back up, open the door, close the door, and then all the chairs hit the fucking door. Boom, 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 boom. Then the dude, I tell the I told the dude at the Savoy, I was like, yo, call the cops. He's like, no, we don't need no problems. Oh. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> were, I was there like, we, he was like, we don't need no problems. They're gone. That's there the, we go. Look That's at the, the chairs. ECW chairs incident. <laughs> that shit crazy. That shit That's crazy. how it was. In, at, that was at how it was in the Savoy, PD. That's something. I went to shit. a party in the Savoy. It wasn't no strippers there, but it definitely had the same tone. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That old ass yeah. carpet. And now I'm stuck in the coat check and the dude won't call the cops because he don't want to get closed down. And now the dudes is outside by the car in the trunk. Where's Shorty at? I'm, she's in the room. She's in the dressing room crying. So. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. So you're stuck in the coat check and then they're just yeah. by your car. They know which car was this at the time. No, they're at their car. They're at oh, their okay. car. My car is parked on the on Jerome, but they're both at their They waiting for me. Yeah, that's when with the, niggas with the used trunk. To, that's when niggas, not even the trunk, niggas used to keep them things in the engine. Because <laughs> they figure your cops will never check under the hood. You know how niggas, they got coaching. niggas think they mad smart. Yo, niggas is dumb as shit, bro. I hate niggas. That's I funny. I swear to God. Because I grew up, that's, I, when I say I hate niggas, I'm Max. saying I hated younger me, man. I was this a, a certain ass. type of mentality. <laughs> yeah. I was a foul nigga doing the foulest shit. I have a feeling and- PD always tells those stories. Yeah, people put the thing under the hood. You mean you, PD? Is that <laughs> something PD? you did? <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I'm just go. speaking in generalities. I'm just trying to say I was with a group of niggas. <laughs> you ever PD, you, you, never you, put the, you never huh? yeah, PD, PD, you never put the ratchet under the hood? Never? Honestly, I was more of a keep it on the seat in between the fucking con- center console and driver's seat type of nigga or the passenger seat if nobody's in the car. You know right. what I'm saying? On the passenger seat? Yeah, nigga. Oh, Jesus. Because you got to get to it. How you going to get to it? Yes. But- yeah, because if to me, too, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was out here running around back then. So I'm like, nigga, I ain't trying to get caught without it. Get jacked. Like, Cause when we was young, it's mad niggas. So, but like when I got old, it's me. So I'm like, nah, son, I got that thing. And I got carjacked when I was younger. So I was like, yeah. nah, nigga. Yo, Andre, Wait, you, was that, you got carjacked in Miami, right? In Orlando, yeah. even worse, uh, uh, my nigga. Orlando. That shit, yeah, son, I couldn't even tell niggas back home. It was like, yo, son, Mickey Mouse got you. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Mickey Mouse got you. Son, you can't got- leave the hood and bad shit happen because they'd be like, son, man, at least Mickey Mouse, you know, don't live over here. You went over there thinking That's shit is sweet. Fun. You got palm trees drinking my fruity ass margaritas, nigga. Fuck out you got here. held up at the teacups. That's fucked son, up. Niggas was foul. Hey, guns, <laughs> guns work everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the fuck? That. Niggas like, yo, you might as well get shot here. Fuck's wrong with you? Petey, you grew up with your pops or no? What a travel agent. Of course not, nigga. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if I grew up with my pops, I probably would have like eight degrees, nigga. I'd be the illest <laughs> nigga, son. My pops, what? my pops not being around was like the excuse for mad shit for me. Like, yo, what you want me to do? My father not here. <laughs> yo, like, that got fucking Peter, you're a 37. Like, if someone was father here to guide what? me with testosterone, I would what's, be. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's the thing you feel like you missed uh, most out on not having a dad, Petey? Nah, the whole honestly, dad I, thing. Nah, but you know what's for real though? That nigga looked out because he <laughs> the told me. Fuck? Nah, but low key, that nigga looked out because he taught me like, yo, son, you don't need me, nigga. Do you? You figure it out. That's the illest shit. Like Dante, you gotta leave your son, nigga. Don't don't raise that nigga. The illest, right. the illest shit you could do is leave that nigga and just let him like and let fend him fend for himself. himself. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like a boy. Like, 
And his mom's, your, your, his mom's look strong as shit. So that's all you need. Is strong, <laughs> sh- like my that's mom's it, is like strong. a fucking superhero, nigga. You know what a black mom's and the a single black mom's in the Bronx with like three kids, nigga, that don't need no man, like nigga. What she make fucking government cheese feel like Thanksgiving? You get on the, she get on the bus with three kids and a couch, a love seat. <laughs> This sounds like no. some stuff I, PD is going to say 10 years from now. Man, I used to say some crazy shit 10 years from now, 10 years ago. Nah, son, you don't need a father like that, man. It's just overrated. Son. <laughs> Yo, having a father's overrated because you know how many niggas I bust their ass that know they father. That's why I'd be like, nah, nigga, my shit lit. Fuck out of here. Niggas be having fathers. Niggas be having fathers. Niggas be having, or not even just fathers, but just in the thing that you think you missed out on when you realize like, Actually, this shit made me a hard motherfucker. I even go, you know, nigga might need therapy sometimes, but we not going to get it. <laughs> Mad times, nigga. Everything you said was attached to. <laughs> nigga might need to sit down for a minute. Got <laughs> if, yo, in nigga, fact, yo, I just text. I just texted you a therapist while you was talking, nigga, when you fed the first shit. I was like, I mean, this nigga need help right now. Niggas got traumas, but you know what you going to do? Sit around, cry because ain't no nigga with testosterone in your life to guide you how's that shit affect your relationships pd that shit is lit but i think my whole life though (laughs) honestly everything i ever everything i do is from things that i don't like you feel me so if i don't like how these niggas is moving or how somebody moving i know when i'm moving forward i ain't gonna move like dumb niggas you know what i'm saying so whatever i don't like that's just like a guide to to go forward and do the shit when I'm you say that, you opposite. mean things that you that you don't like watching or things that you've gone through? Things that I went through. Make, so you like, don't like the way it, ha- it happened? Yeah. Mm. You know, even like in comedy, like the business or just in business, like if I don't like the way niggas is moving, like say like an owner of a club or like somebody that feel like they got something or a comic that's popping or whatever it is. If I don't like how them niggas make me feel when right. we move and I'm, when I'm interacting with them or in the space. I'll be like, yo, when it's my time to do my shit and whatever I got to do, I ain't, I definitely ain't doing it like these corny niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is like the illest shit. Give like me an example. Give me an example. Uh, just like clubs or wherever, even people. Like I said, like, say, um, say like, say like a nigga just some, like a nigga on and he got money or a shorty's on and she got money, right? Mm-hmm. So they want to be like, they want to, they know that they on, so people going to fuck with them so they can buy them. You know what I'm saying? Like they can mm. make them go whichever way they want to go type of shit. Make who? The industry or the, or people or Just people, people in attached? general? Right. Like in okay. comedy, I'm going to say comedy because it's like, yo, niggas is trying to get their bag off of this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a bit, it's a business. Yeah. So it's like, if a nigga's mad corny, but he's on. And like he right. gets the pleasure of, or like a, even like, like a club or person, whatever, they get the pleasure from seeing people like fucking crawl on their fucking feet. Like oh, they you mean begging for a fuck, shot? Not even begging like for they- a shot. Yo, these niggas want to dog walk niggas, do they like talk to them <laughs> like a fucking kinky bitch, all kind of crazy <laughs> shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas treat niggas foul in this shit. And a lot of times I see niggas that, like my friends, my fam, like people that just ride with it. So I see mm-hmm. that and I'd be like, nigga, I'm going to get it. And I ain't going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do the yeah. opposite. I ain't going to have to pay niggas and then treat them like shit and then feel yeah, good. Because it's you. like, yo, niggas, even clubs like yo, mad clubs is trash, but they know niggas need stage or want stage time. You feel me? So it's like niggas treat yeah. niggas, play games, all kind of shit. Were well, you like, nigga? Fuck out of here. When I get on, it's like you and then it's too, it's like you figure out your formulas. Like I look at everything a club does or like a person does. Let's say clubs, right? So say a club mm-hmm. is like whatever. I look at what they don't do that you know, the hood in me. It's like I'm a hustler. So I'm like, all right, this is what I'm gonna bring to the table. Mm. Well, you know, it's it's weird because that's kind of the how the whole me too thing happened. 
if you think about it, back in the days, you do a dude who didn't have charisma or he didn't know how to he didn't have a gift to gab. He would he would say, OK, I'm going to get rich and famous and then I'm going to burn. I'm going to bend everybody's will that comes in contact with me. So but I'm going to get so powerful that I can make people do stuff. So right. and that was that was the, that was the game plan. And, and yo, guess what color that nigga wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ain't that Yo. the craziest shit? You be like, nigga, we've been playing fair the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> they would definitely like it's it's but that's it. It's wanting to bend somebody's will. Yeah. So you you know you don't got so you're gonna get so powerful. And then all of a sudden the rules change and they were like, Yo, you can't do that even if you're powerful. In fact, you can't even do that if you are powerful. You shouldn't do it if you're powerful. And so now they all fucked up. I the thing that gets me most, and me, me and Harry was talking about this too. It's like, did you see did you see the Patrice on, on the um did you see the uh the doc? I saw some I saw like half of it. I saw the first half. Uh-huh. I ain't finished. What'd you think of it? What'd you think of it so far? Did you see it, Dre? Yeah. It was cool. What'd you think? Dope. It was dope. It was dope. Yeah, it was dope. It was I'm a huge dope. fan of Patrice, man. <laughs> Yeah. But then, it's like, yeah, once it was... I seen what other like people that like was closer to him was saying, because then I look at it like that too. I think for me, where I'm like, yo, if niggas that was around him was like, oh, I gotta be like, yo, these niggas was around. Like, there's people that like been saying like, yo, these comedy. Although it's dope to see like the praise, but like I seen a few people that was like, yo. Or heard a few people like, nah, Comedy Central and the seller didn't even fuck with him like that. Like, why they would didn't. they even do that? So that shit kind of made me look at it like, damn, I hope if anything else, niggas is getting broken off, like, at least with some coins. You know what I'm saying? That it's like, well, here's the, here's the thing I would say about Because I know, I I know was, other people making money off of it is what I'm saying, too. Like, yeah, if but these they, niggas put they, it out. Yeah. They definitely, look, I, I think it was a good uh, depiction of him as the man. Right. In the fact that they showed that he had layers to him and stuff like that and him and um, you didn't he was see a the whole tremendous thing, performer, but, his, but he also had some flaws. Both and it was all and kind of, no, but I don't mean that. I'm saying they showed that he had layers in terms of he was layered in terms of he wasn't just a dude who was funny or aggressive or stuff. And you see him with his stepdaughter and you see him with Vaughn and they talk about when Vaughn was pregnant. I remember when Vaughn got pregnant and he talked to me and then. He basically tells Vaughn, I don't look, I don't think I'm going to live a long time and I don't want to leave you with a baby. He, he goes like, I don't I can't tell you what to do, but I don't want to leave you with a baby. And so that's why they, they didn't have the baby. So a lot of times they be talking about Vaughn, you know, and on the Internet, be talking about Vaughn crazy. But Vaughn was his girl, like right, for right. 10 joints, like she she cooked for him. She Gave him his medication. Hold on, before you got on here, I was just telling them, um, Harry and Dre, about like how shorties a lot of times, like even say like what you because it sparked it with what you saying about Vaughn. Mm -hmm. It's like that yo short like the at least not even all shorties, but like the you know the ones that you the closest with. Yeah, yeah. shorties be doing free therapy for real niggas. Like we come home, like if they wanted (laughs) to ruin us, they would tell all our friends, yo, they don't even like y'all niggas like that. <laughs> like, cause you only Dog. gonna tell a shorty that's like you wit like yeah, yeah, yeah. that. That's like everything. You feel me? Well, let me put it like this. I, you know, I'm sh- I'm not gonna blow niggas up, but there's a lot of niggas on it that was like, he was my best. He was like that nigga's funny style. Nah, that nigga's a bootlicker. Yeah, that nigga's Shade Street. It, it was like he was on like, but it's it's what's real funny is the the un- the thing of them saying. You know, like the, I thought it showed a good dimension, right? Right? You agree with that, Harry? I mean, we yeah, talked it, it, about it, the stuff that wasn't true. It's a comp. He's a. He was a complicated guy. He was a well, tremendously here's, here's funny I, guy, but a very complicated guy, both professionally and personally, and even his friends. So it's weird because it, it, when you say all that stuff that he said about his friends and or his, you know, like oh, this guy sucks. That didn't mean that they weren't his friends in a weird way, because yeah, he talked yeah. shit to and behind a lot of people and professionally. And I didn't know him super well. I was only around him. 
But even professionally, like there were things that he did to sabotage himself. He's still tremendously an amazing performer and one of the greatest of all time. There's no doubt about that. And I've but- always said that he did a lot of things to sabotage himself. And I'm an, and I'm it's funny how because I was thinking um, a lot of that is not necessarily true. It is. I'm not saying that he didn't play ball, but here's what happened as a black performer. They expect you not just to play ball, but you got to play ball. You got they want you to put the dress on. You got to take this shit that you would never do to any white performer. They do to a black performer. And Patrice was just a dude who would go. I'm not doing that. Now, I'm not saying he didn't take. There were certain opportunities he could have taken advantage of. And you never know what what's going to blow you up or not. But you can't. It's weird to say, you know, it was almost like when they were trying to give him opportunities it was hey black dude we are giving you a shot you should be grateful now smile and tap dance and he wasn't the reality was as dope as then and i'll check this out harry as dope as all his peers talk about how how dope he was he should have gotten everything that they gave him and more whether he turned it down or not. But because he was a black dude who said, oh, this project's not right for me. This is not right for me. Then it was held against him as being difficult because why? Because he was a black dude who didn't he wasn't status quo. He wasn't the status quo. So I right, he, he was saying he was like, I don't want to do this. I don't I don't like but I'm then, not comfortable with this. Let me ask you a question. Do you think because while I'm, I'm like, do you think like if he was in like if say like the time we live in it now minus the pandemic and all that shit but right, right. In the sense of like how podcasts have picked up in the last 10 15 years yeah maybe he would have had a different like outlet because it's not like he didn't have like yeah, he yeah. would have built it, it well he was getting different. ready to break he right. was breaking he was breaking in the old outlet so right. his transition would have been so easy. But like, he still I mean, tapped I, into the podcast joint too. Cause think about it yeah, like if he tap- you could go to YouTube and see like like 20 hours yeah, of him or Obi and Anthony or like, like fucking, yeah. you know, tough crowd and yeah. shit. So like I'm like, that was before podcasts and before like yeah. come on. The nigga was yeah. running, he was like housing those fucking shows. Like, oh, this nigga made right, this right. crack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I think I think what happened too is, I, 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 it's it's a weird thing when they think about him talking about race. Like, and I wanted to say this, but when it comes to race, like white dudes who heard him on Opie and Anthony, and they were talking about, um, say per se, uh, uh, oh, he he, he never that. got offended, and you could have these racial conversations with him, and he never mind, he was never offended, and it's like, dog. What you don't, I, and I don't know if you knew this, but Patrice had a rape beef when he was like 16, 17. Yeah, I heard of that. Did, right. So here's what happened. The girl, the girl had a, had a, like, let two, him and, and another dude run a train on her. And then her brother found out. And then her brother was like, what happened? What happened? And because. The white shorty? She, yeah, the white shorty. And then he, she was like, I was raped, right? And so he's like 16, 17 years old. And they because so and this is this interesting thing, because this little white girl's reputation was more important than his his freedom. I think he did something like 18 months in the, pen, in the penitentiary and shit. And it was like and it's a skin beef. Right. So what's real interesting is he did the time that now his boy that went in with him like snapped he couldn't handle it and he he never was the same right uh he used to talk about this to me to, to tell me how the dude went in there and he was scared of getting raped so he wouldn't take a shower he wouldn't wash he wouldn't clean he smell and so when his funk started to to um to <laughs> infringe upon other other niggas they they did him dirty right? Right, right right so so his man never even survived but but if you think about that through your life, that happens to you when you're 16, 17. And then you in this this industry, this predominantly white industry, and then people are telling you, you got to do this and you got to do this. You can't even fathom what's that like. 
to have a to, have, to literally have a sex offender beef, right? And when you're 16 years old, where they just made an example of you, and now you're in this business, it's predominantly white people running the business, and they telling you do this, do that. You always gonna be like, nah, I'm doing what I want to do, and I'm I, and that's something I I know Harry, you didn't ever even thought of it like that. Because of that, can you imagine that's your start off before you start? That, I mean, that's definitely that, going to have an impact. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it? That I mean, changes why wouldn't it everything. That, everything about so it's, it. Right. So it's real easy to say he was self-sabotaging because he didn't do what you thought he should have, what anybody thought he should have done to get famous. But when you when you understand how the system works in a real way, right, and you end up with a skin beef for nothing, right, just because your this little pristine little white girl's reputation is more important than his freedom, and they just take, just throw it, and then you, 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 that's that's everything that you do in comedy shape is shaped by who you grew up. And that's so probably, when you that get, definitely sounds like it affected him because he never wanted to be controlled in any capacity, and that's why he a lot of the things he walked away from because he didn't either didn't have control or somebody else had a say in it. And he just didn't want that. He wanted to be free at every moment. He is so and wild. Other, and the other thing is that he didn't want to, he didn't want to. So when he was talking to dudes who were all these dudes who would say racist shit and do all kinds of racist shit, he would, it wouldn't affect him because he was like, I see how you rock anyway. I don't give a fuck about what you think about me because I already know what you think about me. So being defiant in that, and I've always, I've always said years and years, I said that Patrice was, was self-sabotaging. And in retrospect, I don't feel like he was because when you, you come from that in the first place, like, how do you think that doesn't affect? I mean, if you tell me if Jim Gaffigan had got hooked up, a hook hit with a fucking skin beef, he probably wouldn't be talking about hot pockets. It's <laughs> easy to... You know what I mean? It's a, it's easy to to do to say that from the outside when you don't live that life. Yo, let's yo, PD. Um, we gonna close it out and then do a, do some time behind the paywall. All right, can you hang? All right, cool. Uh, by paywall, you mean Patreon? The Patreon. The Patreon. Guys, yeah, yeah. Uh, if Patreon you want to join us, come over to Patreon. Uh, and you know, we do a little bonus content, some behind the scenes stuff. And we're going to be doing listener mail from there, too. So, you know, that's where you can have access to us and uh, a whole lot of uh, exclusive stuff. So come on and join us. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. BD, do your, your plugs. Oh, y'all, I don't know when this come out, but I'm going to be at the Mohegan Sun this weekend, the twenty February 25th to the 27th. You're uh -huh. going back out. I'm trying to get that vaccine at the casino. Holla. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Dre. Yo, just uh, AndreDThompson.com and uh, South 30 Podcast. That's it, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, Harry? Uh, you go to my stuff, uh, at Harry Trajanian on all the social media, and uh, just, you know, sign up for the Man School 202 uh, YouTube, and we're on TikTok and Instagram. So find us uh, find re at Real Man School on Instagram. One-on-one -on -one consultations, DanteNero.com. Everything else, social media, just Google me. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolution? It's being podcasted. We are out, man. Love y'all. Peace. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero. Hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson. Produced by Harry Turjanian. Executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Tarjanian, and Dante Nero.